big night to celebrate. Yeah, the event here venue has cleared out a lot since the peak of it around 8 o'clock when the race was called for Bill Lee. But the candidate, the governor-elect, is still out here shaking hands. Take a look at some of this video from earlier as the party was really just in full swing. The race was called pretty early, naming Bill Lee the 50th governor of Tennessee. Um, his speech tonight, he thanked Carl Dean for a campaign well done and said that he will look forward to being uh, the next governor of Tennessee. Take a listen to some of what he said. From the bottom of my heart, I care about you, and I care about your family, and I'm going to do everything I can for those who didn't vote for me to ultimately make them be proud that I am their governor. Lee says some of his first actions in office will be to address education and economic development, among other issues. Tomorrow morning, he'll hold a press conference with Governor Bill Haslam as he prepares to move in to the governor's mansion now. But for tonight, it's just a party to celebrate as most of the supporters have moved elsewhere to continue the celebration after their candidate, Bill Lee, has been named the next governor of the state of Tennessee. We'll send it back to you. Cole Sullivan live for us tonight in Nashville with Bill Lee's campaign. And Lee's opponent, Carl Dean, conceded the race earlier tonight in Nashville. And that is where we find WBIR 10 News reporter Grant Robinson with more for us. Grant. Hey, Robin. Well, Carl Dean didn't come on stage and concede this race until after an hour later than when NBC projected that Bill Lee won. But even then, the civil tone that was all throughout this campaign from both the Dean and Lee camp campaign continued. Carl Dean said afterwards that if he had a message for Bill Lee, it would be that he hopes to spread a message of unity and that um, former mayor Carl Dean will continue to support Bill Lee as he's the governor of Tennessee. I wish uh, Bill, Lay, Bill Lee all the success in the world and I'll support him as governor and we all need to do so and to make sure that our great state continues to move forward.